Speaker, Margot uh, look, firstly today I want to condemn the comments made by uh, the DUP leader Arlene Foster earlier uh, this week when she uh, dismissed the Good Friday Agreement and uh, suggested that it could be altered at the whim of the DUP. Uh, but that shouldn't be surprising to us because in 2003, I mean, she left her own party because of her opposition to the Good Friday Agreement. Um, and again, you see now that her party has supported Brexit. Um, but I think it's really important, well, firstly, that she understands, which she doesn't seem to understand, that this is an international treaty. It's an international treaty between this state and Britain, and it's lodged under the United Nations. So she needs to get to grips with that. But obviously, as co-guarantor of the agreement, uh, this government and the British government need to make sure that that's upheld as well. And uh, just while I'm commenting on that, some of the comments that I have to hear from members, members of this house and members of the Oireachtas and others around, well, you know, why don't we just set up the institutions uh, in the north, you know, and there's, there's no preconditions required. Well, I would have thought that it's a precondition of any government to treat all of its citizens equally. And somebody who wants to set up the institutions are people here who want to advocate the setting up of the institutions where there aren't LGBT rights, there aren't rights for everybody across society, and where people have had to wait decades just for the truth around uh, legacy inquests. Uh, is not right and we could certainly never advocate the setting up of, of uh, the institutions un under, under such an arrangement while we do desperately want the institutions to be up and running but I think maybe all of this gives people down here a better insight uh, into exactly what we have to deal with in the north.